Good morning from Bon Bon Land here in Denmark where it's time for our first ever visit. I really don't know what to expect today. Oh, it's always good going to a park for the first time. It is, yeah. I think there's going to be some funny bits and surprises in this park. When we was walking in, there was a rat that greeted us yeah, there was. Um, at the uh, car park <laughs> not entrance. Not a real rat. No, no, not a real one, just to say. <laughs> a big statue of one. Well, I think there's going to be loads of funny stuff. This park opened back in 1992. It's now home to four different roller coasters along with a lot of family rides here I can't as well. Wait to explore. Yeah, it's going to be great. I don't think it's a massive park, but I'm looking forward to enjoying it, seeing what there is, and of course sharing all of the experiences with you in this vlog as we enjoy Bon Bon Land for the first time. Some lovely flowers down here at the entrance. And yeah, look at the structure of this. So you've got the nice sign there in the middle. Great photo opportunity. All the coaster track. I don't know what he's doing over there, Charlotte. What do you think? Whatever it is, yeah. it's <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and we've got this car that's driving around the track. We know over the shoulder restraints. And yeah, we've got the actual car just over there as well. But uh, here we go. Yeah, very colourful, vibrant entrance. It's a lovely hot day today as well. <laughs> Look at this just here. What a photo opportunity. What are you doing there? Not too sure. you got your massive uh, horns just there as well. Playing some music for us. There's loads of great photo ops down here. This one's got a guitar just here. Is, uh, there you go, get yourself inside his massive mouth there. <laughs> oh, loads down here, that one's playing a drum. So yeah, park hours are 10 a.m. through until, I think it's 7 o'clock the park's open. Yeah, yeah 7 o'clock, I mean, I don't know if we're going to be here till 7 o'clock. Uh, it depends on the size of the park and what there is to see, but uh, I don't think it's a massive place. But yeah, like I say, it dates back to 1992. Started and ran by a sweets company, I believe, when it first opened, hence the name Bon Bon Land, I'd imagine. But yeah, we just let us in a little bit early, 10 to 10. And then we've got a rope drop just here at 10 o'clock to let us into the main part of the park. Hey, here we go, who's this just here? Hello. <laughs> Morning. Yeah. What a legend. Is it a seagull, is it? out free rock here. Uh, free rock? What? There's a sample to get you in. What is going on? We've got this clown just over here with massive pants. We've got a dog just over there. We've got the famous dog fart coasters today. If you're watching this thinking, what? Well, you'll find out later in the vlog. So as it's our first visit, just thought we'd take a look at the park map here. And we'd just like to say thank you to Bon Bon Land for providing us with admission today and also permission to film on the rides. Normally you can't use a GoPro, but yeah, they're letting us film so we can get you some nice POVs. We obviously we came in down here at the entrance. And yeah, we've made our way around this top path. And then, yeah, as you can see, the park spans quite far back, actually. There's a rapids down here. We've got four coasters to enjoy. Some dinghy slides over there. There's a drop tower, some flat rides, a couple of different water rides a pirate ship at the back uh, we walk past a 4d cinema over there there's quite a bit to see some My sort of uh, pendulum oh yeah these are the ones much like a trip oh, stroll yeah, uh, yeah so what happens on those so you like when you <laughs> I like how dramatic that was there, like vroom. But yeah, I think first we're going to start off down at the Gerslai Eurofighter because this one is quite special. Here's a look then at the Wild Ball. And this was actually the first ever Gerslai Eurofighter to be built. It opened here in 2003. And yeah, obviously this model has become very popular now at theme parks around the world, especially here in Europe with Gerslai. So yeah, we're going on something pretty special here. Look forward to this, see how it rides. Yeah, I mean, that's the question. How is it going to ride? With it being old, but it has just got one inversion. That's the loop just there. You got this big overbank at the start of the layout. And yeah, when this opened, of course, it had the steepest drop out of any roller coaster in the world. Yeah, it's an interesting move for them, especially what I would class a very family park. Quite a big ride to have it. Yeah, definitely. 2003, it's obviously. So small the drop does, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It looks tiny. It looks titchy, doesn't it, just there? But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. The layout, though, looks quite interesting. We've got the Gerstler spinning coaster just over there as well. And here it is, 97 degree drops. Yeah, when it opened, it had the steepest drop out of any coaster in the world. And the first coaster to go over 90 degrees. Let's go and get on. <laughs> this is the entrance just here. We go through this wagon. Vilsnevinitz, there we go. That's my awful pronunciation. The wild boar, that's what it means. Here we go, look at this, it's absolutely walk-on. It was busy coming in. Yeah, it's really quiet down here at the thrill rides. Here's a look at the station. Here we go, let's go on. And off we go. See so yeah, standard Gerslai trains with the over-the-shoulder restraints on this one. And leaving the station just there. Yeah, you got all the fire painted on the wall just there. Very colourful track, it's multicoloured. We've got some red, we've got some yellow, we've got some blue. 
just on here as well. But yeah, 2003, nearly 20 years old this. Obviously Gerslau, you know, really paved the way for taking coasters beyond vertical. So yeah, I'm glad that we're getting on this. And the layout is quite unique as well. Guys, a slow lifter, isn't it, Charlotte? Yeah. <laughs> oh, blimey, they've certainly made these quicker over the years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're close. Nice blue sky today. Got me shorts on today, viewers. It's lush. It's going to be weird going down and not straight into an inversion, this. Oh, oh it's pretty smooth. We're all right. Woo! Oh, really smooth. Woo! Oh, it's all right, this is. Not too bad. Whee! Love the multicolored track. Gonna be sharp. Oh, so we, I tell you what, for a 19-year-old coaster, that was, really that was all right. That was. I was expecting that to be really rough. Well, that was much better than I was expecting, to be honest. I enjoyed the wild ball. Oh, that wasn't rough at all. No, we've been on much rougher gear than oh, that. Smile is rougher than it that. is. We got one at our home park. Oh, it's no. rougher. No, that was really good. I enjoyed it, and the layout on there as well is fantastic. I really enjoyed it. I think you know the ride looks a bit dated yeah, in terms of the, the yeah. paint and also as well the theming around it's an it. Older ride, isn't it. It is, yeah. And you've got to think this is a smaller regional park. We're not talking about an international player park just Small here. Small park. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but no, it was all right. That was uh, pretty forceful in places. You can see where Gersa have made improvements over the years. However, it wasn't too bad at I all. That, think it was that bad I at all. enjoyed it. Well, we've got another Gers next for you. Wow. And Charlotte's never done one of these before. No, it's very weird. Yes, yeah, so this is one of these Gers spinners. Uh, there's quite a few of these around. I did some on the US road trip a few years ago, and so uh, yeah, they're quite good fun because you've got two seats opposite each other. This one is called Tomcat, which Charlotte came off there and was I like, "Can you hear me?" Like cats going meow. So yeah, we're gonna go on Tomcat now. This opened in 2006. Seven. <laughs> we told you there was going to be some funny stuff at this park. Here we go. Hand Catton. Massive cat. Look at his claws over the side just there. <laughs> Massive paws. Here we go. I'm telling you what though, this weather today, absolutely lush. This is a nice temperature today. It's going to be about 27. Back home, it's going to be like 39 today. So yeah, this is just nice for us. All right, let's take you on with the pub. <laughs> go then so we thought we'll sit opposite so you can see Charlotte on the GoPro just here. You got a friend there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Up we go. Nice three trains in service on this one. Yeah operation seemed pretty good. Like the Eurofighter that was on a few trains as well. Weird. Yeah you never done one have you? Yeah there's done quite a few in the States. Did one at Vina Prater. Oh look at that. Hey. <laughs> there's my favourite drop tower. Oh just round to the side. Oh there's another coaster down there the little uh, Zero. Hopefully we get a good spin going on here. Oh, no, no, no. Whoa! <laughs> hey. We're not spinning much. But as a zero to the lead. Whoa! <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> From my experience, it's been better when just two of you are on and you sat on the same side. But oh! Oh, that's good. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> They like the colours uh, as track here, don't they? Like, really bright and vibrant. Whoa! Hey! Overbank! Air time hill! Hey! Into the brakes. Oh! Yeah, that, God, that was a big... Uh, yeah. God, that was a big bang that was on the brakes, wasn't it? Blimey, look at all that mess of track. Oh, so vibrant. Yeah, they like this... Uh, it's hard to describe this theme in here. It's very kind of cartoon-esque, yeah. isn't it, really, what uh, they've gone for. You know, a lot of it needs painting up. Are you all right there? <laughs> well, how was your first? Gear slash spinning coaster well, of that style. I wasn't braced for the brake. Yeah, to be I know, yeah. 
quite good fun ride, but I, we didn't spin that much. No, I think it'd be better if we were just sat on the same side, I think two so of us. Too. Uh, but obviously, it's got a bit of a queue building up now, so I don't know if we'll ride. get that. Yeah, it's, it's all right, isn't it? Ride, yeah, yeah, it's nice. I think it'd be enhanced in the show building that one. I think so, in like a tunnel or something. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, some audio around. That's not really something that this park's got either at the yeah. moment. I mean, like I said, we are at a smaller, more regional park. When I say that, you know, this isn't one of the big European players, so uh, it's more like a, you know, you, you are not going to get many international visitors no, you're not, no. um, coming to somewhere like, like this. like a local park. Isn't yeah, it? definitely. But um, no, we're going to make our way over to our third coaster now. Soon getting the coasters yeah, done. Yeah, we are, which is good. Yeah, we've done the two big Gerslowers. We've got a zero Tivoli just over here now. And I looked at it at first with the station being up in the air, and I thought, that looks really interesting. So yeah, let's go and talk about it. So yeah, look at this. The station for this zero Tivoli is raised up in the air by quite a considerable amount, at least 25 feet, I'd say. Uh, and then I looked on the roller coaster database that I love for getting all my information and went on there and found out that it was a relocation from another park that used to be in Germany. So yeah, the coaster dates back to 1993, same age as me, 29. Um, but yeah, then it opened here in 2009. So the park that it used to be at was kind of built in the German hills by the looks of it. And that's why it's so high there. Yeah, followed the terrain and then it got... Yeah, yeah, and then it got bought by here, especially a Zero Tivoli, especially with the tiny lift hill. This is really unique. Yeah, the station's raised up, you got the tiny lift hill, and it heads all the way around the side of this lake just here. So I think this would be quite a good layout, to be honest. So I'm looking forward to this. It's Victor Van Dorm just here. Yeah, it's a little caterpillar, I think it is, just on there. So let's head up the steps and go and ride. <laughs> Hey, love this, gives high fives as we uh, leave the station. Here he is, whee! <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, you can tell this was built for the terrain. Look at this, it's quite a long ride and you get two laps. Look at the size of the train. And we're dipping down into the water now. Woo! Oh, that's good fun. I like that. Little lift hill just over there brings it back up towards the station. Whee! Oh my god, look at the size of this thing! Woo. It's a very nice scenic journey over all this water. It's a massive helix, helix, helix just over here. <laughs> <laughs> Thought it was gonna stall land. Come on, everybody push forwards. I don't think these two drop towers are on, unfortunately, just off to the side. Yeah, it don't look like they're on. And also the gyro swing, pendulum ride over there as well. We've not seen that going unless they open later on, I'm not too sure. We have got here for park opening. Drop tower looks good over there, that's on. Yeah, we've not seen them go round, so we'll have to see. But you got that lift or anything. Oh, here we go. <laughs> but no, it just brings you back to the station. Like I say, it was all round hills and everything at the former part that it was at in Germany. Oh, it's a fast high five as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was. <laughs> I like that. The dinghy slides just over there. Nobody on them. They're open, water's flowing down. This drop's cracking. Oh, wow. some air on that drop. Like, I think that wins the award for best Zero Tivoli drop I've ever been on that. Whoa. I see why there's no key for those now. You have to walk all the way down here, up a massive set of stairs. Woo. <laughs> Tree clearance. <laughs> Please keep your hands, arms, feet and legs inside the carriage at all times. Bit of welding done on the track down there. Look how low I get in a minute. <laughs> Woo. You're basically cutting the grass there. You're like a strimmer. And there we go. Oh god, and he just makes it back to this lift hill, I tell you that. That was fantastic. I thought that's one of the best Zero Tivoli coasters that I've ever been on, to be honest. Well, that was really good. How was your ride there then? Did you enjoy that? Oh, that's 
probably the best one of those I've ever been on. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. Fantastic layout, two laps special, yeah, really like a three enjoyed. minute ride. Well, here we go. This park is famous because of this ride. It is the dog fart roller coaster. It is literally themed around a dog farting. That is the name of the ride. Sitting in a dog. Like, how crazy is that? It's this is it's a famous ride, this. Well, there you go. You got like this big building in the middle just here. And then there's the dog just over here. So this is like his little kennel that he's got just here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's a funny place. And look at that massive chicken just over there. Is it a chicken? Yeah, it, yeah, is. it is a chicken, isn't it? There you go. And with the little disco. The yeah, so we've just seen it on. And uh, yeah, Charlotte was like, yes! yes! So you're looking forward to that. So we'll get on there. Hopefully, we'll see that pendulum ride open later on. But we've not seen any action. It looked like it hasn't operated for quite some time. So we don't know. But we got the dog fart. Yeah. And this is our fourth and final coaster, but yeah, we got like a, yeah, we have, yeah, we soon got round in the first hour. It looked really busy coming in, but uh, yeah, the crowds are spread out. Again, there's a lot of rides here, and it is more of a family park as well, you know, it's more about the family rides than it is the big thrill ones. Look at this, oh, I can't believe we're finally riding this. Oh, what is it? Oh, wow. Oh, there you go. It's actually the game, and then the train's coming round. Let's have another look at that. That is really cool. Right. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's really nice. So technically, we're saying this coast, this part's only got four coasters. It's got five. That's a cred, isn't it? That's a cred. We can't ride it, but it's a cred. Yeah, a little bit of a wait for this one. Probably a couple of trains worth. And we'll go and ride on this. Oh, God, I can't believe it. It was a viral sensation. <laughs> there you go. There's the name. I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. Well, look at this. Oh, it's so funny. I love it. Right, let's take you on with the POV. Yeah. Woo! Dog fart. Hey. <laughs> We're off. Yes, open to 993. Even the dogs bark as well. We ain't dispatches, which is cool. We got a few laps rounds. And there's even dog poo in a pile on the floor. Whoa! Through the kennel. I don't really like dogs, so I'm glad he didn't get me. Here we go, here's his dog poo just down here. There's his bowl, got some bowl. Oh, imagine making that piece of theme in by being commissioned. Yeah, we just need some fake poo for our ride. Yeah, he's called Henry. Oh, Henry's wild. Nearly as wild as the wild boar just over there. <laughs> hey. Yeah, zero force. Bones. Water bowl. There's some funny little rides in this park. Yeah, very cartoon themed. Oh, we go again. I'd brace yourself for the brakes at the end of this yeah. thing. I think they're going to be quite sharp, Charlotte. I love that little model as well. It's from the game outside. <laughs> Woo! Brace for the brakes. Yeah, oh, look at that log flume. Oh, oh. Here we go. I think these are going to be sharp. Oh, oh. That was okay, that. Oh, brace for nothing. Well, at least after all these years, we can finally say we've been on the world famous dog fart coaster. What a great little ride. A farting dog themed coaster, it's amazing. <laughs> but yeah, the fact there's a pile of poo on the floor it down there. It. Like, it really does, but that's why I like coming to these parks in Europe. You get these different weird, unique things like that. We like, love it. You just wouldn't get that back in the UK. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't get a log flume themed to rats either, oh, would you? no, big rats. Massive rats, but we've done all four coasters. We've got some other rides to get on, some water rides, some flats. And Charlotte said something to me in the queue about water rides just. Like, get me on the log flume, I'm sweating. What was that? I know, I'm so get hot. Get me on the log flume. Like, you don't hear that very often. I'm so hot. Oh, let's go and get her on. I absolutely love the boats on this. All these multicolored rats. It's probably the most colorful park I've ever been to this. Like, so much. No wonder that some of the theming looks a little bit worse for wear because they've got so many different shades of paints to buy. Like, it's crazy. I don't think we're going to get too wet on this, but it looks quite unique. Look at this massive piece of cheese just here. And we've got that rat just scurrying about on top. And what's this one doing here, Charlotte? It's spinning around. I like the look of it. Like, what is even happening? It's a big key for this one. I think we're going to be waiting a while. Oh, it's going to cool us down. We've got to go on this. Well, according to this rat just here, it's going to be a 40 minute wait. So yeah, we'll see if that's accurate before we get on. Well, I've got to say, I'm a little bit worried about Bon Bon Land because they've got a rat infestation just here. Look at this. We waited 40 minutes. So yeah, that sign was very accurate. Very trusty little rats, these are. We've got Charlotte in the back just here. The boat doesn't look too wet. We don't know how many drops. Look at him. We don't know how many drops or anything. 
Uh, we don't know if there's any big effects or anything on this. It's, it's a complete mystery. Oh! <laughs> oh no, he's got a fish in his mouth. What a structure. Are we for a drop here? I think we are. Just a little one. Oh! Hey! <laughs> oh, that was all right. Only at least a light sprinkle, not even that. There's dog fart over there. Fantastic. We've got uh, some animatronics around the ride as well. If you can call that an animatronic, I don't know. But yeah, they love this cartoon theming. It reminds me quite a lot of some of the theming at Energylandia in Poland. Like these big kind of fiberglass models that, uh, you know, aren't the best in my opinion. <laughs> but yeah, you got to think it is a family park. You know, it's for the kids really, isn't it, with the theming of this place. Who have we got over here? <laughs> <laughs> well, we promised you some funny stuff. What is happening? Yeah, this is very, I'd say impressive. Like, it's got a very industrial look about it in here. I can't really tell what's theming and what's like ride hardware, to be honest. In here, look at this. Got this contraption going across. Is that this pipe work for the ride? Everything's working though. And operations are pretty solid here as well. Lots of boats. Big Peter Cheese out here, look at that. He's just laying there in the sunshine. Gorgeous weather, yeah, highs of 27 now this afternoon. Roasted, I'm glad I went for the shorts today now. Yeah, I can do a bit of repairing round here. In this big tunnel just here now. Please remain seated in front, he stood up at the back. What's he doing there? Is he doing his hair? I don't know. Is it a bottle of beer? Is it? Oh yeah, I think he's supposed to be drunk. He's holding his belly. What's going on? I like how we got some subtle sponsorships as well. They got like a big uh, Pepsi can round by the entrance. <laughs> and we go straight in for the finale drop, I think. So yeah, it's just a, a two drop special this one, but it's quite a long ride. Lots to look at. You ready, Charlotte? Let's go. Whoa! Oh, oh. oh I got quite wet. Oh, that's what you want. Oh, you look soaked. On a lovely day like today. <laughs> look at that face, viewers. Oh, is it salty or is it all right? It's the rats. It's the rats. Oh, maybe it's rat wee on this. No. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Sam, up there. He's been having a piddle. <laughs> that was good. It is Charlotte after a soak in there then. I'm absolutely soaked. <laughs> you actually are quite wet, but I'm to be honest, dripping. that's what you want today. No. Especially because you haven't got shorts on. Oh no, I'm soaked. <laughs> Who's this just doing then behind? I'm not too sure. Why is he on his nose? Do I smell? I don't know. Maybe so. he's got a post box built into the front of him. Ooh. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're going to get some lunch now, find some food, and then we'll get on some more rides. We've got a rapids to do. Oh, We've got no. a couple of drop towers. We've got some flats. Yeah, still quite a few rides to do here at Bonbon Land. Plenty of rides for the kids here at this park as well. As you can see, you've got this big octopus ride just there with a crab and a fish just up there as well, which is really cool. <laughs> Look at this just here. Big apple, not a big apple coaster. There you go, you got the little caterpillar just inside going round. Yeah, I think they're the pips, aren't they, in the middle? They are the pips, they're having a good time on there. That looks quite good. Oh, okay then. So after a very risky lunch for Charlotte yesterday, what have you gone for today? Chicken nuggets. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, look at these fries. Premium fries, I love yeah, these. I love you don't get these very often. I don't really know what the technical name is for them, but they're really nice. They're not like chunky chips, but they're like, um, like cooked, aren't they? Like cooked fries. Yeah, they're lovely. Yeah, absolutely lovely these are. So yeah, we're going for these. You can have a soda or a bottle of water. Yeah, it came in at about £9.50. So yeah, not too bad. So I'll have this and we'll get on some more rides. If you are coming over here though, you've got to pay for sauces, haven't you? Yeah, I think it's like four to pay a sauce. Something we're not really used to back home, that normally, isn't it? But there you go, yeah, you've got to pay for sauces. It's the same. Sachets, yeah, it's the same in a few European countries, isn't it, with, uh, with the sauces. Yeah, these are absolutely delicious. Do you want one, viewers? Oh, no, it's for me. <laughs> Best meal of the trip so far right there. That was really nice. Premium theme park food with them chips. Lovely. I feel like I'm back at Adventure Island in South End now. Looking at that wave swinger just over there. Lots of nice planting around. And yeah, we've got this big facade just over here. At first you think, oh, it's a dark ride. Well, it's not, it's actually a boat ride. Maybe it opened in 2005 from looking at that up there. Not too sure. 
But yeah, we're going on Salovas. Yeah, I, honestly, my pronunciation's awful. Yeah, this looks quite well themed. Again, following the theme of the park, very cartoon style. But the Leaning Tower of Pisa just over there. But yeah, we'll give this a go. Nice couple of relaxing rides now. Let the food settle. That was a big portion, that was. So I'm looking forward to giving this a go. Here we go, Whee. a little drop just here. Yeah, we waited just over five minutes. Oh, look at the wall. That one, oh, look at this. Oh. It feels a bit makeshift, this ride, doesn't it? I think it's a little tour around the world from what we can see from the theming. Yeah, look at those big birds up there. It's a cycle monorail. Hello, <laughs> he's put his hands up for us. Welcoming in theme park worldwide. <laughs> Wild West section just here. There is actually a small cowboy town just off to the right there it seems as well. Still not seeing that gyro swing in action. So yeah, I don't think we're going to be getting on that today sadly. I say we, I don't think Charlotte would come on but I would have. <laughs> Little saloon over there. Out right on there pal. <laughs> oh, water effects. <laughs> it's only a small one. Oh, we got to put a little lift here on a drop. Maybe an explosion in here, I think. And it's about as wet as we're going to get on the ride. Just a few little drips. <laughs> Very cranky lift, Dill. Oh, it feels quite steep, actually, this. Here we go. Imagine a big wave coming over the front now, this murky lake water. Here we go. Oh, God. Oh, we're all right. Oh, that was close. Where are we now, Australia? Oh, God, that was risky, wasn't it, Charlotte? Oh, it's a kangaroo just over there. Yeah, it's very well themed. All cartoon style, but yeah, it's very nice, very colourful. <laughs> got some nice audio around, got a good water effect coming up just here. Don't worry, Charlotte, I think this one's going to cut off before we get to it. <laughs> Lovely afternoon though here at Bonbon bon Land. Beautiful weather. And if you haven't already, of course, make sure you check out the previous vlogs of this one. Got the travel vlog, our video from Jers. Oh, we're getting close. <laughs> and also returning to far ups on the land as well. That was too much. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> nice little boat ride that was. Lots to look at, quite a bit of movement, audio. It's a bit of TLC in places, but yeah, it was okay that. Well, the boat ride was really good fun there, wasn't it? It was, yeah. There's some nice bits of scenery around, lots to look at, which is good. What well, we come on now, Charlotte? We're in like a big bird cycling around. We think this is the mascot, so we thought he was a seagull earlier. He's definitely not. He's up here. Kind yeah. of see him. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we thought we'd come on this cycle monorail, get some nice views of the park. Beautiful day here on our last day in Denmark. Tomorrow we will travel over to Gothenburg. We're flying out there, ready for Liseberg. And yeah, looking forward to getting back there first time in four years. There's a view looking over at the Eurofighter again. Look at that. Got this drop tower coming up shortly. Gonna head on there. We've got two drop towers to do. There's this one, and there's also the one that jolts forward as well. That Charlotte is very excited for. I really like that one. You can tickle his feet just back here as well, look. <laughs> Hope he's not ticklish. Oh, they got a little pony track ride down there as well. Lots of family rides at this park. It is more family than thrill here. Oh, we're speeding up a bit now, are we? 
through the trees just there, get a nice view of the way swing up. It's a big turtle. Yeah, it's always great visiting parks for the first time. Not really knowing what to expect. It's a lovely little family park. There he is. <laughs> I don't think this one goes backwards. What are these doing just down here? <laughs> there are so many different figures and things to look at around here, which is good. But yeah, it's all very compact. It's not really themed areas. It's all very close to each other. I say that, you've got this cowboy town that I think might be new looking at the map. So we'll have a stroll through there and show you that. Lots of picnic areas. There's some barbecues about somewhere as well if you want to cook food. I didn't really realise it got this hot in Denmark, to be honest. I've always found it to be quite a cold country, but no, it's actually really, really hot this afternoon. 27 degrees. There's a little dragon spinning flat ride there as well. So yeah, there's lots of flats, lots of family ones. Well, we can say we cycle round in a big bird now here at Bonbon bon Land. And yeah, round to the left just here, we've got Cowboy Town. Go check it out. Yeah, let's have a stroll through. It looks quite well themed. We've got some play equipment down here. We've got the city bank. We've got the jail just over there as well. Some guy making balloons. And yeah, from looking on the map, there's some sort of attraction just over here. It's indoors. I don't know if it's a track start ride or if it's a screen based thing. I don't really know. So it's just over here, so we'll go and check that out, I think, in a minute. I don't think there's any other rides down here, but you've got some food around this area. More cartoon-style theming, but I do like the buildings that they've got around here as well. Panning for gold just over here. Very popular attraction, Panning for gold still. I mean, I remember when a lot of theme parks back in the UK still used to have that, but not as many now. I think it's just a play area down here. We're looking on the map. And then, yeah, we got this little ride down here as well. Fort Bison, just over there. Yeah, it's a, it's a wild themed little area. They actually do a Halloween event here as well, which is interesting. You can see from the sign just over there. Yeah, I think we're going, should we get, check this out? Yeah, definitely. We don't really know. It's a mystery. I think it might be one of them where you sit on a seat or something or sit on a horse and maybe shoot a screen, maybe. Something like that. We'll go and have a look. There we go then. We just waited 15 minutes for the mystery attraction. It's an interactive shooter, but we're not on a dark ride. We'll have sat here on some logs there, Charlotte. <laughs> I've got to say the screen is very high quality though. <laughs> I was hoping it was going to be one of them horses that you sit on. You know, and then it rocks side to side. <laughs> What's the score? 505. Hey, hey. It's a good high def screen. Oh. <laughs> it looks like we're moving along on a ride. Oh no! What a photo! <laughs> God, I hope I don't come along like that. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, Charlotte, then, after that nice little interactive ride, you were second place. I'm second place. You did a good job yeah. there. Hey, well done. I really like him. You can't have the mascot. Yeah, he's nice though. We've also got the dog. There's the dog just there from the dog park coaster. I like the dog, but I like yeah, that's it. Yeah, he is quite nice, isn't he? You know. He's got goggles on him, look. Yeah. Oh, they actually come down, do they? Yeah. But yeah, it was all right. That I mean, we waited 15 minutes. Yeah. I wish the seats moved or something, but it, it was okay. Yeah, we're gonna head outside. We're gonna get on these drop towers now, I think. Oh, it's absolutely baking hot this afternoon. There's another look over the Eurofighter, and yeah, unfortunately, it shot this gyrus thing. It looks quite good as well, quite a big one. But yeah, I did see a post by the park on Instagram a few weeks ago, so it's not like being closed for long. It's been closed for a little bit because the 
floors are into. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Yeah, maybe that's the issue with it. The floors the having floor some technical problems. But yeah, it's got an out of order sign out the front. But it's okay, we've got the coasters in. I'm going to take you on this drop tower here because it's absolutely walk on. Yeah, it's going to have a ride. Walk straight onto the drop tower there, shoulder down there. Nice comfy seating. Here we're going to get some nice views looking over the park. Yeah, again, it's in a nice location in the forest quite a scenic drive getting here worth putting out from the hotel we're staying in there you have to cross a big bridge and yeah it costs about 27 pounds to cross it's like a 10 mile long bridge it's very impressive but yeah bear that in mind if you're driving down to this part of course down to copenhagen as well lovely view it's only a small park but it's got some nice family attractions quite a lot of shade which is ideal on a day like today here we go Woo! Oh, that was good. That was really forceful. Well, that was absolutely fantastic. Brilliant drop tower, nice and forceful. Good long hold at the top. Charlotte's idea of a nightmare. I didn't yeah. fancy that one, so I didn't give it a go. Yeah, to be honest, you've been getting good with the drop towers. To be honest. Yeah, you've done some good ones, which is nice. Talking of drop towers, what have we got now then? Oh, I like these ones. So you go up, it shoots you forward, <laughs> it drops you down. Yeah, really good. We did one of these at Trip Trail. Oh, yeah, you really like it, don't you? So, yeah, we're going to go on this now. <laughs> we'll take you along with the POV. <laughs> Yeah, just round the back of the Gerslauer here, in this little area where you can see with more cartoon theming. They do like all the different cartoon characters here. And yeah, it's just kind of really weird, this part of the park. As you can see, it's like open for future expansion. There's the car park over there. Someone's got a caravan set up down the back there. I don't know if that's a guest or not, but uh, here we go. This looks quite nice, a little tree house. You can actually walk up to it as well through a little forest, which is quite cool. She's excited for this one, I can tell. It looks empty. Maybe the reason it wasn't going earlier was because it's quite out the way around the back of the park. We've still got the rapids to go on as well. Can't wait for that. Hopefully we get quite wet. Because I am in need of a soaking. Oh, up it goes. Here we go. Yeah, really good fun. They must sell them as a package, these. Oh, yeah, it's not really got a proper queue line. You just kind of stand awkwardly at the gate. Oh, it launches you up. Look at this. Yeah, it takes you straight up. The massive rides as well. Like, they're not small. Yeah, it takes you up and then it'll jolt you forwards. <laughs> Here we go. Is it going to do it or does it drop again? Oh, 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 oh. No, down again. Very unique drop rides, these. You know, and we say that, you know, smaller, but they're actually pretty big. About three times the height of the old Nemesis Sub Terror, if you remember that. Oh, my God. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Let's go and get on. Oh, we're off. There we go. Well, I expected that. Though. I was looking forward. Here we go. Whee. It's not really got much force, the actual drops here. But, oh my God, it's been saying the dinghies weren't very busy. They are now. Look at that. Woo. Nice view over the park there, Charlotte. Oh. 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 <laughs> I feel like the one at Trip should have more force when it drops yeah, than this one. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's here quite steep. Go. Charlotte's got as good front row seats for this. It's going to be scary, this. It jolts forwards. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> that is it's terrifying that is. This is a kid's drop tower. Absolutely terrifying that. Blimey. Oh that was really good fun. Charlotte even went around for a couple of laps there on that drop I tower. Really like that. It's not as good as the one at Trip Drill, but still a really good drop tower. Yeah, a couple of drops and that big so jolt forward. With a little lap bar, it's oh, really no. scary. It is, yeah. It's terrifying. No to go on the front. Oh, I know, yeah. So it was good. Yeah, no queue as well. Maybe you've seen a little bit more footage of the Zero Coaster here. Massive supports for this. I wonder if some of these had to be redone, actually, because of the relocation. Dog. Massive dog play area. And yeah, we've got the rapids. We've not actually seen them. It's quite a small part. We haven't seen the rapids yet. We think they're down the back somewhere. Yeah, we'll go down this way. You actually enter through the dog's mouth just there. Slide out of his bottom. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Lovely. But yeah, much like all the other parks in Denmark, really, or at least the ones we've done this trip, Farup and Jers, uh, they've got lots of benches, picnic areas. You can smell the barbecues. People bring big setups to these parks. You know, they don't blame them, to be honest. Some lovely planting down here at the back of the park. And we've got beaver rafting. And also, <laughs> off to the left, it's a goat with a, a peg on his nose. A peg on his nose. Why? That's funny. Maybe it's not like the smell. I'm not thinking, what, of the beaver just there? Yeah, oh, there you go. Do you stink, beaver? <laughs> I think this queue is going to be big, but we will find out. This is a part, really, where you have to guess the queue times. There's no screens or anything like that. But, uh, like I said, it is a very small regional park. Oh, the rapids is quite big, actually. 
Oh, that's pretty decent, beast. pretty uh, big boats just there. For some reason, I was expecting it to be a smaller rapids, this one. But yeah, we'll see. I mean, there's not many people entering the queue line down here, but it is hidden away down the back of the park. So we'll see what, what's that popping up there? Is that a llama? Yeah. Well, is it this here? What is it? I oh, know, is it a dog? I can't tell from the back. It's a goblin. <laughs> oh, right. well, we'll go and find out. This where there's like a massive cattle pen queue around here in the forest. At least it's in the shade though. Well, I've been waiting about 25 minutes so far. So yeah, there was quite a big queue when we got around the corner, but it's worth it for a rapids on ice hot day. Look at this, a member of staff's even got water guns just over there, which is cool. <laughs> hey, oh, that's perfect. Look at that murky water down there. Right, let's go and get on. Here we go then, there's me and Charlotte on the seesaw up there. Look at this, got some animatronics all around. What is that me in the hammock just there? I don't know. We found out why the goat's got a peg on his nose. Yeah. Because the water absolutely stinks. <laughs> it does indeed. And yeah, the fact he's got that water going, hopefully he's going to get you right at the end. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm hoping for. But here we go. We don't know how long the layout is. I don't think it's going to be massive this one, but we will see. Here we go then, down past the queue just there. Don't worry, guys. About half an hour, you'll be on. Not too yeah. bad. Oh, oh, oh. Smell. Oh, it does sting, but I don't mind. Smelling like oh. water. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Normally you find in a lot of these European countries, they have nice clean water. It's a rule though now in a lot of places when new water rides get built, it has to be clean, filtered water. Oh, 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 oh. Rapid. Hey, what we got? Oh, oh look at the female. Pretty good. In the forest round here, which is nice. Got some big waves coming in here, Charlotte. Right. There's lots to look at on here. Look at him there with that big brush. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Oh, that was nice. Just a light sprinkle, that was. Oh, that was good. Nice. Yeah, that was good. Whoa! Nice water wheel there. It's quite good, this is. Yeah, it's not the worst rapids I've been on. Quite choppy. I wasn't expecting much, you know. What have we got going up there? Massive log. Is that? Whoa. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Getting choppy. Here's the beaver. What's he doing? Oh, he's been uh, carving out the rocks. Oh. Oh. This is the KFC Mega Wave here, is it? Is it? Oh. oh. It's close. <laughs> you okay, Charlotte? No. Look at that face. <laughs> She's not happy. Ooh. Oh, we got some waterfalls as well. A lot of this is hidden away, which is quite nice. Oh, this looks like you could come in here. Here we go. No. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at this set of waterfalls. Oh, this is awesome. Wow. Some of, some of the best waterfalls I've ever seen. Oh, here we go. <laughs> They have, they have really good waterfall in the tunnel now. <laughs> What's this little noise you keep making? <laughs> Ooh, more beaver action. Straight in through here. Come on, let's have it. Uh, this rapids is so much better than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> really wasn't expecting much. I'd say this is probably my favourite ride at the park, actually. Rapids. I think it's very good. Right there, hello. <laughs> Long. Ooh. Oh, yeah, they're coming, didn't they? Big finale, we got anything? He's coming out. Oh, he's coming out from the side there. What's he doing? Oh, that's it. I thought that was really good. That was a very nice rapids. How did you find that, Charlotte? I'm on edge because this water gun's going to be coming. Which water gun? At the end. The oh, member oh, staff. member of staff, yeah. Oh, it was good that though, wasn't it? Quite long. Yeah. Quite choppy. Yeah, choppy seas. There's the goat peg on his nose. <laughs> it stinks. Hey! <laughs> There we go! Oh. Is that alright for you, Charlotte? Lovely! Oh, keep it cool, that's it! Oh, lovely! Is that cool you down a bit now? I'm not impressed. <laughs> a fantastic ride there on the Beaver Rapids! I thought that was really it was good! It long, actually. I wasn't expecting it to be that long. Neither was I, especially for a smaller part like this. I didn't think they'd have a major rapids ride like that. That water blast! Oh, like that. <laughs> it was a good three minute long ride. And yeah, anyway, it's about half hour or so on a hot day, so that's not too bad at all. Yeah, we've done all the major rides now here at Bonbon Land. Got a few flats to do, then get some re-rides in. 
I tell you what, they've got some very unique rides and theming here at Bon Bon Land. Look at this swinging ship just here. It's a big fish, or at least I think it is anyway. Look at that. <laughs> oh, no, it's always good visiting parts for the first time, experiencing some unique attractions. But yeah, we're going to have a ride on here now. Charles is going to sit up in the shade for a little bit. Yeah, it's baking out. It's actually got to 29 degrees now. Nothing on what it is in the UK at the moment, but it's still pretty hot. You know, we're not really used to these temperatures. I don't think people in Denmark are either, to be honest. Yeah, look at this. Clap Torsken just there. Yeah, it's got like a clapper board, hasn't it? Things of the movies a little bit. Really weird. But yeah, let's go and have a go. Hey, walk straight onto this. Yeah, I do like how it's over water here as well. I think pirate ships are so much better over water. Especially when you've got a lake with massive fish in. Look at the size of this one. See him down there. Oh, massive fish. Just the other side of that water. Looks like there used to be pedlos on here to me. Yeah, like all around the side there. I'm pretty sure it still shows them on the map, unless there's somewhere else and it used to be here as well. But it's a nice little family park, this. Very similar to what I was expecting, really. I wouldn't say it's exceeded expectations. It's not under-delivered. It's just a nice park. Lots of family attractions. It's a gorgeous day. Can't wait for Liseberg tomorrow. Fly down to Sweden. It's going to be great. Back there for the first time since 2018. Yeah, the pirate ship was quite good there. It didn't swing really high. However, it's nice how it was over water. So I'll show you this toilet block over here. This is very unique. It's an upside down building. You got the steps over there. There's a drain pipe over at the side. And yeah, we walked past here earlier on. There wasn't any entertainment on, but there is now. Got a little show. No, it's just ended, I think. Just over there. I tell you what, it is baking hot this afternoon. It really is. Perfect weather for the splash play area just over there as well. Yeah, it's good how they have them in the parks over here. Not a full water park here, just a splash play area. But still, it's something, isn't it, on a hot day? Yeah, it's great how this park has got loads of shaded areas. Lovely here in the forest. And yeah, we're going on the way swinger just here now. What we're sitting in here, are turtles? Some turtle shells. Yeah, this is quite cool, isn't it? Lovely. Yeah, we get a nice breeze on here as well. Whoa, here we go. And I'll tell you what, the seats on this are very well themed. As you sat in a turtle look. Holding on to Charlotte. <laughs> There's his head at the back. These are really nice, these little feet out the front. And yeah, instead of sitting in like a little basket, you know, you get proper seats, plastic seats on here. There's zero wave swinger. Ooh. <laughs> nice, colourful ride. It's a very vibrant park, this is. And that's the best word to describe it. Colourful but vibrant. Oh, you got pedlos over there. So yeah, they're on that part of the lake. Oh, this breeze is so nice. I could just stay out here all day. But this is cooling you down, Charlotte. <laughs> Fantastic. But yeah, there's a couple more bits left to do. And then a couple of re-rides, and then we'll be done here at Bon Bon Land, our first ever visit. It's been lovely. That was a nice wave swinger, very well themed and the seats on there were fantastic. But yeah, going on a little horse just here now, a little ride round on this pony track. Yeah, still nothing on the gyro swing over there, unfortunately. I like this, it <laughs> wobbles about on the front. There she is, hey! <laughs> oh, this is nice, just the breeze on here as well. There's the Bonbon bon Queen from 1999. Love the Bonbon bon Queen. <laughs> But yeah, so this park all based around different suites. And yeah, apparently the dog fart coaster from looking at our social media comments from today was based on like the flavour of a sweet, what they used to do here back in the day. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, fun little fact for you. Well, yeah, we're going to go on the little disco just over there. And then, yeah, other than a couple of kids rides, we've done everything. So yeah, we're going to do some re-rides, get some nice 4K POVs on the two girls flowers. And then, yeah, we'll have a look in the gift shop and wrap up the vlog. What a great day. It's a nice little ride though. <laughs> I like these, especially with the sound effects. Oh, smile with the camera. Woo! <laughs> you build one of these in your back garden. That was really good fun. Nice layout on that attraction as well, which is good. And yeah, look at this massive chicken just over here with the girls there just behind it. Here we go. Yeah, these queues are really quiet now. They were busy earlier on, but I think it's too hot for people here in Denmark. It's a bit too hot for us today. It's crazy. Albatossen. There we go. <laughs> I won't ever say that again. Let's go on. 
Here we go then on the big chicken. Another nice colourful ride here at this park. Whee! Yeah, I've just checked, it's actually 29 degrees here now. Crazy temperatures for Denmark. We wasn't expecting it to be this hot this trip. Woo. I quite like these ones without the camel back in the middle. Without the hump. Whoa. Yeah, even the coasters look pretty quiet now. I think a lot of people are just chilling out in the shade, relaxing, making the most of the weather. And yeah, that's Bonbon Land. We've had a great day. It's been really nice. Like I said, we're just going to do a few more re-rides now, fill some other POVs. Then we'll get a little bit more footage around the park, have a look in the gift shop, and wrap up today's vlog with our final park here in Denmark before we move on as part of the Scandinavia summer trip over to Sweden, where we've got three more parks coming up for you. Liseberg, Kalmarden, and Gronalund. So after that ride there on the chicken themed disco, we went for another ride on the Eurofighter. Still pretty smooth, the uh, old yeah. Sauer. And then we went for a crazy spin just over here on Katten, the spinning really coaster. Oh my God, Charlotte, I think passed out yeah, on there. I did. Crazy, I was actually filming at the time. I was just doing a 4K POV. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that in now for you because it shows you how different it is. If there's only two of you in there and you sit on the right hand seats next to I each really other. I don't know how Charlotte stayed quiet on there. Just I was just doing like a, you know, ambient POV to upload on the channel. But I'm going to have to put it in the vlog anyway. So here it is, a crazy spinning ride here on Catton. Well, you've just seen that crazy POV there from our ride on the spinner. Such a fast spin. <laughs> it was crazy, it. absolutely insane that was. That's why you want to be riding that. If you want a really intense spin, both of you are on the same side on them Gerslar spinning coasters. Just being on the dog fart coaster again and also that awesome oh, Zero Tivoli as well. Nice. Yeah, it's been nice. Just thought we'd show you the little driving school that is up here. This is cute. It is, yeah, more of this cartoon style theming. But the good thing is you can actually walk around as parents with your kids on this as well, which is good. Yeah, so there we go, just thought we'd show you it. There's a big tower crane over there, JCB diggers. Yeah, it's another well-themed cartoon-style ride here at Bombardland. Can have a look in the shop now before we wrap up the vlog. So yeah, we're just down here now, back by the park entrance. Not forgetting you have got the 4D cinema just over there as well, for if you do like those. I mean, we've done that many 4D cinemas now and seen a lot of the films, because obviously they rotate them round as well. But yeah, they have got that on offer here. Look at this. Oh my God, what a gift shop. Wow! Oh, smell pods in here as well. And yeah, obviously the park started off all about sweets, you know, and that's why we've got some unique themes here. And yeah, you've got loads of different sweets available. Charlotte's amazed. You don't know where to look. You smell that? Is that dog farts I can smell? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, apparently there's some... Here we go. Is this the seagull poo? Someone was saying there's some really unique sweets. Seagull poo original, I think, just there. Look at some of these. Right. <laughs> You got rat ones just over there. Wow, this is quite the gift shop. Oh, are they? Oh, that's really cool. You know, it reminds me of a little bit when you go in World of Disney, you know, like literally, but it's full of sweets in there. Oh, this is crazy. I think I've actually stood on one. I've got something on my foot. Yeah, what is it? Yeah, <laughs> got a sticky foot. Let me remove it and we'll carry on. So many different sweets and treats. You got some uh, clothes just over there as well. Look at all them. Oh, but that's not cheap. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, we've been working it out like that. 17 pound, oh, that's crazy. Yeah, we've been working it out. It's quite hard, obviously, you know, when you're using Krona. Wow. All these different toys over here as well. Crazy, it's mostly food in here, but they have got some other bits as well. 
all the plushies. Oh, we've got some mugs over here. Let's go and have a look at them. Look at that beautifully laid out mug selection there. That's how I like it. Yeah, these are really nice. Just here, 69 krona. Bonbon lines. Reminds me of my uh, Bubbleworks mug. That's a good one there, look, with the spinner on. And the Eurofighter. That's really cool, 69, yeah, not too bad. So we've been working out, that's like around, you know, £7.50 to £8, kind of, you know, how we work these out. We have some nice merch. Yeah, it's good, I like how it's a real picture, the ride on there. Yeah, what a great gift shop, but I tell you what, it's been a hot, hot day. Not quite as hot as it's been back home, in fact, nowhere near as hot. But uh, yeah, it's still been a really warm one here. We've had a fantastic day discovering Bonbon Land for the first time. Well, that brings us to the end of our day here at Bonbon Land. And I tell you what, we've had a great time enjoying this park. I've really enjoyed it today. Yeah, it's nearly five o'clock. We've actually been here longer than I was expecting. I knew it was a smaller, more regional park, but actually there's still quite a lot of attractions. Quite busy as well. Yeah, I think if you came here on an off-peak day, uh, you'd probably only be here a few hours, I you know. So um, especially if you haven't got kids. However, it's a very family orientated part there. Um, so many different family flat rides. I like the boat ride that we did earlier yeah, on, that, that was, was nice. good. And then the coaster selection, mostly aimed at families. But then you think about that girl slash spinner, oh, blindy. Too fast for me. <laughs> oh, that was crazy. I thought the Eurofighter was great and it was good to get on the first one of those. Yeah, it was quite smooth. I was prepared for a rough ride it and was. it wasn't. Uh, and then along with that, we then went over and did the Zero Tivoli. That That's was good. That's my favourite coaster here. Yeah, I really, I really enjoyed liked that. It. Fantastic. Fantastic. Overall, operations have been pretty They're solid happy. here as well. Thanks to the park to allow us to film Thank on ride. You. Normally they don't allow it, uh, but it's great that they allowed us to get some POVs. Which is really good. Uh, always makes it when we can film on ride in the vlogs. That's always great about the European parks. Most of them allow the POVs, which is fantastic. But yeah, it's very nice. In terms of the theming, it's more cartoon-esque here. It is, yeah. Um, you know, but you've got to think, it is a more regional family park. Um, very kid-friendly park, this one, with lots of attractions for smaller uh, children to do. Um, yeah, but it's still a nice part to come to for adults with the bigger rides exactly, as well. Yeah, there's a mix. Yeah, shame we didn't get the gyro swing. Don't know why that wasn't open. It'll be back open soon. Yeah, maybe the temperature or something, uh, having issues with it. I'm not Who too knows? sure. But uh, it's a nice park. It's quite small. It's Again, it's quite a relaxing park. Uh, but it's got a good mix of attractions, a lot of uh, which is and great. Stuff as well, which is good. Yeah, I mean, it's finished off nice with all the flowers. I think some of the areas could do with some TLC I here. I agree, yeah. You know, it does look very tired in some areas. Bit of painting, Bit of painting up. But you've got to think, it's one of the most vibrant and colourful parks I've ever been to. Really colourful. Like, look at the entrance just it's here. Lovely. With the track there behind us. But, uh, no, it's been really nice. It wraps up uh, our theme parks here in Denmark. And, uh, yeah, we've had an absolutely fantastic time. Check out the other two vlogs from Joe's Summerland and Farup Summerland, along with the travel vlog, if you haven't seen them. And tomorrow, we're off to Sweden. Yippee! Looking forward to this event. I can't wait. Oh, it's the next vlog coming up here on the channel. Going to be great getting back on Helix for the first time in four years. Charlotte's first time. <laughs> Time. So it's going to be absolutely awesome. But no, it's been great visiting a new park. It's always nice to get back to somewhere new, to see it for the first time. And it really has been a great day in the lovely sunshine. That leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, get out, out there, there and, and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. See you in Sweden.